Altamont Corridor Express trains all have been canceled today. Ace officials stopped train routes this morning. After that, that mudslide blocked the train tracks in Niles Canyon. The recent storm saturated the hills above the tracks, loosening soil and rocks. One passenger told us when the train came to a sudden stop, it was just a scary moment for everyone on board. We just heard this loud sound and, you know, like a jolt. It was really very scary because <laughs> um, I just started taking train about uh, a year ago, so it was I've never seen that before. I thought the the tree was gonna hit the window and break it, so I had to duck. I had to go on the floor just to make sure. <laughs> it was it was scary. Bikes flying all over the place, and then I flew into the table and I hit the table. That train stopped in Niles Canyon near Fremont, the same spot where yesterday another landslide forced another ACE train to stop on the tracks. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's still coming down. That was a scary moment indeed. 223 passengers were on board the train today along with three crew members. ACE officials still making a decision about the morning commute. And today's cancel service for ACE Rail is certainly going to shake up the evening commute. Traffic reporter Gianna Franco tells us what to expect. With ACE Rail being canceled today, you are likely going to see busier than usual conditions out on the freeways, especially any routes along 580 through the Altamont connecting onto 680 and even from 680 over into the South Bay. Maybe you're heading into Milpitas if that's where your commute takes you or over towards Fremont. So 580, 680 would be your alternates for that portion of the commute, but expect extra busier than usual conditions because more people will likely be on the freeways. You can also use Capital Corridor as an alternate to ACE Rail. All right, joining us live now is Ace Train Head of Marketing, David LaPerry. David, thanks so much for joining us. Should commuters expect for Ace to be closed for the rest of the week? What's the timeline looking at, looking like? Yeah, right now, Union Pacific, who owns and uh, dispatches the track that, where the mudslide occurred, is currently on site clearing the site as well as inspecting the track. Uh, once they're done uh, with the clock clearing work, they'll give us the the word on whether or not we'll have service tomorrow. So this gets kind of confusing, David, because ACE doesn't actually own the tracks where all this is happening. They belong to Union Pacific, but the call to run the trains is all up to ACE. So wh what goes into making these decisions on how the mess is cleaned up and what happens to passengers? Well, absolutely. When, when something like this occurs, the, the first call goes out to Union Pacific to dispatch crews to the site. Uh, for cleanup and inspection work. Uh, we cannot operate on the tracks unless Union Pacific gives us authority to do so. Uh, but certainly we are in close coordination with them as to the health of the tracks, the health of the corridor, as well as the safety aspects uh, of the corridor itself. So certainly we are in close contact now uh, and trying to determine what's best for the ACE service and, and what will it look like for us to operate trains, uh, if any, tomorrow. All right, well, I got to ask the obvious question here, David, because yesterday there was a landslide in the exact same spot. You guys knew that the area was vulnerable to landslides given our recent storms. Any question as to why they continue to run trains today, knowing that that area was prone to mudslides? Well, that's a great question. I mean, we ran two trains through that corridor yesterday afternoon without incident, uh, as well as Union Pacific ran an additional uh, piece of equipment through there in the evening time. Uh, as a precaution to see whether there were any unstable portions and, and all was clear. So we were given the go ahead to operate uh, this morning and didn't anticipate uh, having another slide. Uh, now, unfortunately, another slide did occur. And so I think the, the conversation that, that you're starting here is the conversation that we're having with Union Pacific now, which is, you know, how do we ensure that we're going to have a successful operation uh, going forward. Right, because the ground is still soft and it's going to be like that for the next couple of weeks just because we got so much rain. Are there any plans for mitigation to prevent future mudslides? Anything you can do in that area? I really think the the, the plans for, for stabilizing you know, in Niles Canyon and in the right-of-way is going to be up to Union Pacific. It's their, their tracks, their right-of-way. Certainly, we uh, we'll be talking to them about that, but ultimately mm -hmm. that's their decision. All right, David, thank you so much for joining us all for that uh, valuable information there. Thank you. We'll stay with CBS News Bay Area for continuing coverage on ACE Rail service and the continued impacts from the latest storms. You can find us on your phone's app or our website, kpix.com.